Hello everyone, my name is Catalyst and welcome to the How to Not Suck series, the grammatically incorrect series that teaches you how to play Battlefield. As you may know, we are going through every single specialist in the game before going through some more in-depth videos, going through each one, learning how to most optimally play them, and learning their quirks and tricks before suggesting loadouts for them. The previous episode was on Rao, so if you have not seen that video or are interested in watching it, you can click the card in the top right hand corner of your screen if you are on desktop, or you can click on the thumbnail at the end screen of this video. Today we're going to be covering Boris, and he was a admittedly huge surprise as to how good he actually is. I considered him to be in the lower echelon of specialists, but after spending some time with him, I think he is incredibly strong in the game as a top 5 breakthrough specialist. Today we are going to go over his sentry turrets, detailing how they work and how you should use them on the battlefield. It should be a shorter episode today, so if you all are ready, I am. Let's get to work. So as I've already kind of mentioned, Boris was a surprise to me, and I think the community is finding out how good Boris is at the same exact time, because I have seen a lot more of these annoying little turrets around the map nowadays, and I promise you all, it wasn't me. I didn't start the Boris meta. Okay, that's a little bit facetious, Boris isn't exactly meta, but he certainly isn't but useless like I thought he was going to be before I started learning him for this video, and that mostly has to do with a misconception about his turrets and the purpose of them. Boris's SG-36 Sentry Turret is a deployable turret that can spot and kill enemies in varying degrees of speed, depending on how far the enemies are away from it. The spotting of the turret does reveal the enemy player's class, and does mark him on the minimap. The distance that you can get spotted by a Boris turret is actually quite far. I believe it's around 60 to 70 meters, and obviously this depends on how close you are to the turret due to Boris's trait, the Sentry Operator, which boosts the Sentry turret's efficiency the closer you are to it. The game is very, very vague on what it means by boosting efficiency and what it actually does, but as far as I can tell, the boost is how far the turret acquires targets and at what distance. Now some quirks to know about Boris's sentry turret, when the turret spots enemies, if they break the turret's line of sight, that player will continue to be spotted for around an additional 3 seconds. Something to consider is that even though the turret operates in a 180 degree cone of view, it can still rotate around 360 degrees when tracking enemies, so if the turret is tracking someone, and the enemy tries to get around the turret to shoot it from behind, the turret will continue to track them. The turret also does have the potential to track them through obstacles until they appear again if they are spotted, but again, that's only if the enemy player doesn't outlast the three or so seconds that it takes for the turret to stop spotting them behind cover before exposing themselves again. So as you may or may not know, you can pick up your turret from where you placed it, and this is useful for a couple of reasons. First of all, I would suggest picking up the turret when at all possible because the cooldown for the turret is quite long. It's a 45 second cooldown, so you will be much more efficient and save more time by going and picking up the turret if you have found a better spot for it, instead of just waiting 45 seconds for the cooldown to finish. A lot can happen in 45 seconds, and a lot can happen especially in Battlefield 2042. I also found that picking up your turret and replacing it fully replenishes the health of the turret, as you can see in this clip here, and I wanted to go and test the speed of using a repair tool as opposed to just picking it up and putting it back down, and it was just as fast to pick it up and replace it as it was to repair tool the turret back to full health. So. In case you already didn't have any incentive to use the repair tool, now you really don't have any incentive. Which I guess is good because you would want that gadget slot open for something else instead of something to repair your turrets all the time. There is also a new change to the turret that you should know about if you didn't know it already. Originally, Boris's turrets exploded upon the downing of the owner, but in a recent patch, DICE changed it to where the turret doesn't explode until the owner completes the bleed-out stage and goes back to the spawn screen. I'm certain this was done to prevent turrets exploding and then the owner getting revived to find out his turret was gone, but this is still pretty useful, so if you did die in a crowded area and your turret is still alive, maybe you should just hold your bleed out for a little while longer to let your turret do some work before it gets destroyed. So, what is the best way to play Boris? Well, I found that he is truly a defensive specialist, and I know you'll go and say, well, yeah, duh, but whereas other specialists can be very flexible based on your playstyle, Boris really is the first specialist that we have covered so far that really fits into his niche and excels there, and in a way that does make him a victim of his own playstyle, but we will get to that. Boris is the most optimal while defending on Breakthrough, and I was able to get some really high kill games with him by utilizing his 
turret on kill zones and flanks. You see, the true power of Boris's sentry turret isn't its killing potential, it's the information that it provides you with. I would say that maybe I would get five to six kills from my turret per match, but I got so many more from the spotting that your turret gives you. I think the best way to play Boris is to set up your turret on a lane or overlooking a large flank adjacent to some cover, and then having yourself lurking nearby. It's even more useful if you want to place your turret watching a lane in one direction while you watch the other direction from the same spot. The turret makes a fairly audible audio cue when it has spotted someone, so watching an angle and then rotating and looking for the spot when you hear that audio cue is a good way to play him. Regardless of how you choose to do it, playing for information and then peeking the enemies at your turret spots is the most optimal way to play him. I think it is worth mentioning that an underrated part to Boris's kit is that using the turret kind of helps you focus in the battle at times. There are a lot of players in these game modes and a lot of things happening, and if you work in sync with your turret, you can be very efficient if you know what you're doing. You can also use the turret as a means to check an area before you cross, so what I would do occasionally is come to a high traffic area on my way to an objective and if I heard footsteps I would place my turret at the corner and then wait to see if it spotted someone before continuing. Either the turret will spot someone or occasionally the enemy will shoot the turret which allowed me to get a pretty easy kill most of the time. But generally speaking, Boris is the ultimate angle holder. You place your turret in a fairly obvious but useful location, either overlooking a flank or a high traffic area. Hold that angle, kill enemies that are spotted, and move along. It does make him a victim of his own playstyle at times though, however, I think the skill in playing Boris is knowing when you're about to get overrun, which admittedly, I had a pretty hard time doing because I found that I was holding angles and getting a lot of kills in short amounts of time and I really wanted to stay there because I felt like I was doing my job, but I would eventually get overrun and killed because from the opposite perspective, if you see a turret, you know a Boris is nearby and you go and you search for him. Your impact as Boris is often very precise and short, but still very effective. So with that all being said, what is the best loadout for Boris? Well, I think the optimal loadout for Boris is an LMG or longer ranged assault rifle. You've seen me use the PKP and the AC-42 in this gameplay, but I would also recommend the AK. Then I would run either a frag grenade so you can pre-nade spotted enemies around corners, or some kind of smoke grenade because the sentries do track through smoke, and I would either run a recoilless or a med crate. It's really hard to justify running anything else with the amount of vehicle spam that is in the game currently. And as always, I suggest other compatible specialists to run alongside this one if you are running in a squad. For Boris, I suggest Angel, Casper, and Irish. Angel is a good choice because of the ammunition and armor that he provides. You aren't going to be doing a lot of moving with Boris, so unless you are using an LMG, you may run out of ammo quite frequently. Casper is good purely because of his spotting capabilities. He will give you a good idea as to where a hotspot is to set up a turret. And lastly, Irish, because if you use Irish's trophy system and and combine that with Boris's turret, it is a hard combo to stop because the trophy system can stop five different explosives, so players that want to get rid of Boris's turrets will be tearing their hair out when they realize they can't because of that trophy system. As for where I would rank Boris, I would rank him as the 8th best specialist in Conquest and the 4th best specialist in Breakthrough. I know you just watched a video of me mostly gushing over Boris, but in Breakthrough he really is best on defense as opposed to attacking, and in Conquest he is much, much worse because of how little you get to utilize his turret effectively and the amount of angles that you have to cover. At least in Breakthrough, everybody is coming directly at you, so that gives you more of a precise idea on where to put your turret. In Conquest, he really just kind of becomes generic Russian henchman number two and not much else. That's the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you found this video useful and enjoyed your time here. If you enjoyed it, drop a like and leave a comment if you made it to the end of the video. It helps me tremendously in the algorithm. If you enjoyed it just that much, you should consider subscribing as I will be making more guides on the game and will be making tons of 2042 content and guides like this one moving forward. I stream four nights a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday on my Twitch at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Catalyst and I will see you all another time.